Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome back. It is um, February 29th, last day of the month. Uh, we're going to do the reveal for our small scale group build for 2024, the uh, 82Z28, dubbed a Z28, which unfortunately has lived up to its namesake. Um, last night, uh, finishing it up. Um, we ran into a snag and um, just uh, I'm, I'm done for right now. Um, Atlantis kits uh, I've done the last two years uh, and then the Sadie 2 Camaro is also by Atlantis. They're a reissue of, of uh, monogram kits from the 80s. We did the, uh, well, the Trans Am the first year, the 69 uh, Nova last year. The Trans Am had a problem with the nose fitting, and then there was not quite enough. And I can't remember if it was the nose or the body, but there was not quite enough material. It's like it, uh, uh, when they um, shot it, it was um, what's the word I'm going to say? Injected it, mold in the mold that it, it lacked on the edge. So we took material off the fenders and the the nose and, and recreated the angles and got it to fit and then we had to take a little bit off the hood on the leading edge just to get it to fit okay well it happens um, last year the nova we had some chassis warpage we had uh, um, where the hood wouldn't fit some warpage there so you know you're in and out of uh, the hot water bath and um, you fix it so this year the camaro we had chassis warpage we had an issue with the hood where there was not enough um, material in the hood at the back side, the back edge, where you um, at the base of the windshield. Um, so we we uh, corrected the chassis, uh, had to cut the chassis, had to cut the firewall, different things to get the engine and that tremic transmission to fit in it. But it all worked out. Got the hood to look halfway decent. And then in the 11th hour last night, the glass does not fit the car. Rear hatch glass fits nice. It lays on the body. It does not snap into place, and it doesn't have tabs or anything to hold it in. Um, there are areas around the glass that would be shaded out, but blacked out, and you could use that area to uh, apply a, a real small amount of, of uh, glue and get it to the body and... And be okay so the rear hatch glass i dry fit it no problem the windshield on the other hand was flat in other words didn't have the curve that it needed to meet the uh, a pillars uh, and i tried a bit with uh, hot water and trying to get it to bend a little um, that was very brittle and thin the, the clear plastic and it just uh, it wasn't going to go i didn't crack it um, I did, I tried to get it to, uh, glued into place and it kept moving, um, we made uh, a little mess at the very bottom and then I touched the corner, uh, which it, it doesn't matter, it's not going to fit anyway. I can get another glass for it to probably finish the car, but it's not going to happen right now. Um, yesterday, last night, I should say I was um, mad enough that I would have just crushed the car up in little itty bitty pieces, put it in a trash can and forgot about it. Today, I'm just disappointed. So it's not done. Um, what I did do, the, the Texas 3D Customs, their engine, um, the bodywork, the paint, um, the uh, centerline wheels, looks good. Uh, so we'll turn this thing around and show you what we got. All right, so there it is, a Z28. We have uh, the engine installed. The glass has gaps around it big enough to throw a cat through. Um, I was uh, finishing up a uh, little, this is the Nats in here in the engine compartment, uh, touching up the black. We had the, the coolant reservoir and the uh, windshield washer reservoir, a little bit more white to put on, then do the caps in black. The cap on the master cylinder and uh, clean up on the battery uh, looked good the engine I really like the Weber carbs on that small block 
underneath the car nice and clean the headers lined up perfect i couldn't get a set of headers to line up that good on my real car um, torque arm we made a little mount for that on the tail of the transmission and we kept that stock uh, torque arm the uh, drive shaft length was wasn't perfect but it we cut the the very end of it off and got it to, to fit right up in there so uh, just very clean a nice install um, the interior is uh, harbor blue satin finish um, it's all stock in there with the exception of uh, the gauges uh, with the white face gauges they came off of a decal sheet and then I used uh, some Mod Podge that uh, to make the lenses and you can see through the back window there on the console, the clock and the console. Um, just a nice clean uh, Z28 with the center lines. It was a good looking car. That windshield just, yeah, what can I tell you guys? Um, the tail lights are in the box yet. Headlights, uh, we had the backs painted and ready for the lenses. Uh, and some, I was going to need some uh, turn signal amber for the, the turn signals and the marker lights. But uh, we got the grills opened up there on both sides. I like that look. The hood, whoops, you can see right here is where that. Uh, just was not enough material in that and I sanded it down all the way across and kept following the body line uh, to get it to look like that um, you can see it if you look right at it on the car it wasn't too noticeable I was gonna go ahead and just uh, roll with it like that um, until we had the windshield incident so that is it guys small scale group build 2024 I'm a little disappointed in Atlantis. Uh, I won't be building an Atlantis uh, kit next year. Um, in doing these small scale things, I've uh, opened my mind up to it and uh, turned my attention to small scale stuff when I'm looking uh, online at uh, stuff for sale. So there'll be, uh, I've got a few other kits that I've bought and we'll just do something different next year. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, apologize for the unfinished car. A Z2 hate is, um, yeah, truly a Z to hate. Uh, so, like I say, I appreciate you uh, for stopping and checking out the video, checking out the car, and we will talk to you next time.